be able to get that first uh, W since taking over as head coach? It's, it's more important for the kids. I mean, we've, we've had a tough month, and they've continued to battle and, and fight, and we've had some tough games. And so, you know, for, for me, that part of it's secondary. The good part is just to, we need to win to keep our chances of going for a bowl game and, and uh, uh, to get, let them have a chance to celebrate in the locker room uh, means a lot. Two different halves. What was the difference in that? You know, it's, we, the second half we had a little trouble coming out and running the ball and and wasn't throwing it completing as well. But then all of a sudden the defense, we gave up a few yards, but they made the plays they needed to. And uh, I, I was most pleased about the second half is offense has been making the plays and you know Juju's sack was a huge momentum changer and it changed the ball game around. And and uh, so it was good. Those kids on defense, even though we've been struggling, they work awfully hard. And it was good to see them make a play to to change the game. That was just the right time and right moment to put Hop in there with that call. Yeah, the longer yards we've been doing that. And, uh, um, you know, they, they try to bait you and with uh, those young players you talk about is to always go inside. And, and uh, he made a good move and got around the edge. And, and so then uh, it was good that, the, you know, when the quarterback tried to escape him, he just added more plays to it. And now all of a sudden it's, it's 21 or 22 yards to a first down. So uh, we need more of that out of Juju and got to get him in the ball game in more of those situations. Going Illinois for the defense that good. He had 17 yards rushing in the fourth quarter before, uh, what you call, made the run. What's that down? That's what he tells me. <laughs> What's that now? He, he's, he's just asking uh, uh, if uh, is Illinois' defense that good just because of where you guys were at offensively in the second half. You know, I mean, everybody makes adjustments, and and it still it all comes down to is third downs, and and we didn't play well on in the second half on offense on third downs. I don't know. I think we were one of five or something like that. Um, we were six of eight and ended up seven of thirteen. So you were one of five. It's hard to hang on to the ball and do things if if you don't play well on third down. So it was a a, a tale of two halves offensively, and we thought we could get a few more points, but uh, again, the other side. Um, I'm proud of the defense we were able to hold on and get the win for the way that we've had things go against us here recently. The conversion at the end, was that an easy call for you or, or did you debate it a little bit? You know, bit? it is. To me, that's a personality thing. You know, we talk about that on defense a lot that, you know, you score and you go up by seven late in the game and for three yards you get two points and the game's over. Let's go for three yards because – I don't believe the other team, if they come down and score, is going to go for two points and beat you. I think they'll kick the field goal and you go to overtime. So to me, that, that's not a hard uh, decision to make. And you have an opportunity to lock up the game. Chris, yeah, you know, Keontae continues to get better. Uh, got set back a little bit with his injuries. The thing I'm most proud of, he missed a uh, he missed a tackle there on the hitch and gave up a few yards early in the game, and he bounced back. And you know that that's what's tough. And as a true freshman, with our injuries, he's competed and extremely proud of Keontae and to keep playing because it'd been easy for him to go in the hole there. Yeah, you know, and he's a natural catching that ball. You know, some people putting a freshman back there and that end that last punt wasn't easy to catch either with the wind, and so. Uh, just a kid who loves to play the game of football, and and uh, we're very fortunate to have him. He had that big drive there at the end of the first half. He had a similar situation against Michigan with time management. What did you learn from that to be able to do better today? Uh, I guess I go back and repeat again. I should have clocked the ball. I said that the last time, and and so this time we got the opportunity. We, you know, we called the timeout with eight seconds left. We felt like we could get one throw. In if we didn't get it, you know we 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 kicked the field goal. But there's also a big difference in how you handle that from a half to the end of the game. Also, so uh, thought our guys did a good job. With eight seconds, you should easily be able to get a throw off and 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 um, and still have one play left. Rashad did a great job again. There's a true freshman coming down and making a play in a, in a big situation. Given given well, Brooks' big check. day and you know that fumble in between, was there any comments to him or how did he kind of deal with that? Kind of in the middle of. Of bookends of good stuff. Yeah, he just it is a problem. You know, the defense at least we were able to hold him to a field goal after the turnover, and and uh, hey, it's like hey, make sure you protect the ball. That's all we did. He he's too good a player, and he'll learn from it again, being a true freshman. And uh, but he's important to us right now. He's we we you know we're starting like KJ a little bit to move him around and try to cause some confusion and find different ways to get him the ball um, because of how good offensive player he is. Was Rodney uh, the ankle that yeah. we started? Yeah. 
you know, still is not ready to go, you know. So uh, we tried and wasn't ready. What was that play? Clay, what was that play on uh, at Brooks Friend that touched on for? Who did the blocking on that? Well, up front, it was just a, a give on the zone dive is all it was. So up front, it's just getting a body on a body. And they overran it, and and I thought today he did a good job of finding the cutbacks and and whether to bounce or keep it on path. And then I'll tell you what, he can run as he showed. You know, he gets in the secondary. So up front, they did a good job of just getting a body on a body, not allowing penetration. And if we can do that more, he's good enough back to hit the hole, and, and he can get it over with. What's to say you got Brooks and Pop and Steele and Harden? You got four true freshmen that are making critical plays. Yeah, I said all along, you know, that's one thing about injuries is that, you know, we're not as good as where we probably should be because of some of the injuries we've had. But at the same time, those freshmen, those other kids, the way they've reacted, this will pay off big time, you know, in, in the future years uh, for Gopher football. So excited about those freshmen. And we're still able to keep some red shirts on, still some kids that, that we'd like to and finish out the season. Yeah. Did Richardson, do you think he – this is a big setback, or is it just like? I don't know yet. Okay. Joe, so once I know, I'll tell you. But uh, it has something to do with his lower leg again. So um, we'll see. They just told me they were out, and I hadn't had chances to visit with Ed yet. How do you feel like you patched it today? What's that now? Patch that defensive tackle hole. I mean, yeah, you know, I'd say Galen Elmore's being very unselfish. We've moved him down inside, and he's a little small, and and um, he's done a great job. You know, down there you get double teams, you get cut, you know, I mean, it takes a, a special person to go down there and take on those blocks and keep playing. And, and so uh, if it wasn't for how much Galen Elmore's improved and then Shuby Timms continues to give us a chance and then uh, uh, Andrew Stelter just keeps taking more and more snaps and gets better and better. So, you know, we're to lose our two big guys on the inside who started for us, uh, um, those, those backup players have really played hard. Because you have the fighting is that when, when Calhoun jumps off sides on the field goal and you, have, you give up a touchdown there. So yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, you know, you give up four points right there, and it all goes back to, you know, fundamentals again, you know, seeing the ball snapped and before you go. And you know, he, he's just trying to time it up and get a good jump to get the field goal blocked. And so, uh, but at that time of the game, you know, we just got to play smarter in that situation. Duke McGee had a lot of, a lot of juice, a lot of energy today. What brought on his extended playing time? Well, I mean, he had to play because uh, uh, Kunle got hurt. And uh, so we just had to go the next one. And uh, Duke, uh, he's had a good week of practice, and I'm really happy for him and the way he played. So uh, that's that's another, you know, injury thing that uh, we'll have to deal with this week. But it's a lot easier to deal with it off of a win than a loss. Trace, this is the most you've had to patch up defensively and offensively since you guys have been here? Yeah, it seemed like they just all hit here in one year, you know, so hopefully that's the case and we'll have them this year and be done with them. Tracy, with your first win, do you, do you take a game ball out of this or have you thought about that? No, no, not really. You know, I'm, I'm sure mom and my sister and all of them will, you know. I mean, I, yeah, it is what, it, I mean, I want that ax, you know, I mean, that'd mean a lot more to me than this first win, I can tell you that and, and our kids and and like I say, uh, coach and his whole family. So we'll we'll save the game ball, and we, we'd rather have that axe next week. Tracy, what do you, what do you do tonight to kind of celebrate this, if you will, or maybe you don't celebrate it? Oh, you know, the good thing is my sister flew in here, and uh, she promised me uh, homemade chicken and noodles tonight. So, <laughs> coach has ice cream. I, I'd rather have a little bit more of the comfort food type of deal, and and uh, we'll we'll watch the games and and enjoy each other's company and. And tomorrow we'll get back to work.